So many modern scholars try to say Herod was bad, but he wasn't that bad. He never could have killed those babies in Bethlehem. Well, thank God for Flavius Josephus. Here's a Jewish historian who writes an enormous history of the Jewish people, beginning at creation and going all the way to the fall of Jerusalem. He was born in the city of Jerusalem four years after Jesus' crucifixion. Josephus gives us two whole book scrolls on Herod the Great, and every word has come through that Josephus wrote. Uh, two book scrolls in those days would be the equivalent of uh, almost a th of 300 page book today. So we have a complete biography. We have a complete court record of Herod the Great. And so you take the claim about him killing the babies in Bethlehem and match it against that biography, and we find the same kind of personality could have done that. Because look, Herod killed three of his own sons on suspicion of treason. Uh, he killed his favorite wife out of 10 of them. His favorite wife was the Maccabean princess Mariami. He uh, executed her, killed his mother-in-law, killed an uncle. He invited the high priest down to Jericho to the Winter Palace for a, a game of water polo or something in the swimming pool there. They drowned him. Uh, this is the kind of fellow who could have killed what? 12 babies? 15 tops in Bethlehem? That's all there were. He has heard a rumor now about these magi who are seeking out, because there's been some omen, something seen in the heavens, the, someone born king of the Jews. Not appointed king of the Jews, but born king of the Jews. And so his reaction to that is exactly what, what we see from other sources. You don't talk to Herod about somebody replacing him, not if you value your life. In fact, when he killed his sons, there's a, there's a legend, and it may well be true, that his friend, the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus, said, I would rather be Herod's pig than his son. Now that's, it rhymes in Greek and it's, you know, but why does he say that? If I'm a pig, that's not a kosher meat, so I'm not gonna get butchered for dinner. But if I'm Herod's son, I might well get killed. Now, isn't that a grim comment? And that's coming from a friend and ally. And that was the reputation Herod had. In fact, there's another thing people don't know. Herod actually gave orders that the most popular people in Jerusalem be gathered up in the arena and be executed the moment he died. Why? So the day of his death would be a day of mourning and grief, not a day of celebration. Now that tells you something about Herod. He's very sick now, he's down in Jericho. He has a, a, a medical encyclopedia full of diseases. He's dying. And so he calls his dear sister Salome over and he says, Salome, I want you to arrest all the Jewish leaders in the land. And so she did. And he says, now imprison them below the palace here in the prison area. Been discovered, by the way. Now do I, what do I do, brother? Why are you doing this? And he said, I know that when I die, the Jewish subjects of mine are going to celebrate, but I want to give them something to cry about. The moment I die, I want you to execute all of these prisoners so there will be hundreds of households weeping at the moment I die. Now, is that the kind of a nice fellow who could have killed a dozen babies in Bethlehem? Oh, I think so.